Hello, 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 everyone. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I uh, appreciate you all so very much for joining my channel, for subscribing, for the beautiful words, the comments, and the suggestions. I, you all, I appreciate you. I don't know what else to say. You all have been very, very beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, I, I've mentioned previously that I got fired from my job last, what well, in October, October 11th, as a matter of fact. So I've been having ups and downs, you all, looking for jobs, been going to a lot of interviews. I went on an interview today, you all, so please put your energy out there in hopes that I, in hopes that I get this job. Um, so I have a few people waiting, I'm waiting to hear back from. I know something has to happen for me soon. So I get home today, you all. I get in the mail a letter from unemployment saying that they have, uh, they're not going to pay me my unemployment because I didn't go to the unemployment office. I say BS. I came to y'all uh, on the 14th of November, like you all told me to. To make a long story short, you all, they want me to come in tomorrow because I guess something got mixed up or whatever. I say, this is my only source of income. Okay. This unemployment, aside from the people who I have paid, paid for some readings. I appreciate you, my clients for doing that. That really helps out. Anyway, so I, I, I said I wasn't going to let anything bother me or, or upset me because I have fibromyalgia and it flares up when I get upset about something. So I'm determined not to let that shit bother me, you all. But sometimes it's hard, you know, being a single parent and doing what I have to do, you know, to, to keep the bills paid. But I I popped my popcorn, you all, the old fashioned way on the stove. So I had some popcorn left over from last night. And I put it out in the backyard for the squirrels and the rabbits to get it. So, I'm not the rabbits. Well, maybe rabbits. I don't know why I said rabbit. That's a thought. But um, the bird, the uh, squirrels and the birds to get. So, when I put them out, I, just a few minutes ago, I looked out there and I saw some squirrels. A little pretty squirrel was sitting just running back and forth from the popcorn to the back porch, uh, taking his little stash and eating the popcorn. I went back to look out again and, and it was four squirrels out there, you all. And... Um, all of a sudden, saw a cat out there under the tree trying to catch one of the squirrels. Okay, so it's almost as if you try your best, no matter what you do and how you do it, to feed yourself, to feed your family, to stash away whatever you need to stash away. But you always got some kind of predator, some kind of backstabber, somebody who want to come behind you and steal and steal your joy and 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 take from you. You know what I'm saying? Who who, who tries to put a dent in whatever plans that you have that you have for yourself? You know. Anyway, I just thought about that. When I saw the cat, <laughs> the cat, it was four squirrels. That cat didn't know whether to go left or right because he was trying to, I guess, try to find the juiciest victim. I don't know, but I thought that that was so funny, you know, but he never could get a hold of the squirrel. But one squirrel in particular, you all, no matter what that uh, cat was trying to do, no matter what he, who he tried to, to go after, it was one squirrel. He tried to watch what he was doing trying to protect himself for the cat, but he kept going, <laughs> he kept going back to the popcorn, y'all, it was so cute, and it was so funny, but that, that's the tenacity, that's, that's, that's the tenacity of that, of that squirrel, always being prepared, but always keeping a watch out of, for his, it's from your, for your surroundings, and what's happening, behind, what's happening around you, but to make, making sure you pay attention, you still get what's yours, you know what I'm saying, so I decided to pull two, uh, animal cards here, I pull the, the squirrel always being prepared and I pull independent for cat to see if I can see what kind of what's going on in the energy today. I'm not at, in the best of mood, but I'm in a hopeful mood. And for whatever reason, when I saw that squirrel out there, um, I don't know why I thought about that garden spot, that garden spark song, uh, one wing. I, I, that came to me when I was, I was watching the squirrel and the rabbit out. I, I, I keep saying rabbit. I don't know why I'm saying rabbit. I don't know if it's a, a rabbit card in here, but I'm going to see. But um, it, that song, One Wing, came to me. I'm going to put that in the uh, description for you all to listen to it. Because I'm thinking that it's some kind of message today. I, I just want to do a message that uh, it's going to be called a self-assessment for yourself. Okay? I don't know if there's a card in here for a rabbit. Um, you may have to look up rabbit spirit animal online. I don't think it's one in here for that. I haven't seen one, but I just wanted to see what's going on in, in your energy level. If you're upset about something, uh, just know that things will get better for you. And I don't see one for rabbit. Um, it's not going to be a love reading. It's just going to be self assessment on how you're looking at yourself. I'm going to this regeneration caught my eye, so I'm going to leave this one out too. 
regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your, transform embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are the master of regeneration. Okay, so I'm putting that out because that did catch my eye. I'm going to shuffle some cards and get on with your reading today. So I'm going to read this first for the squirrel. Be prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distraction take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Because let me tell you, that squirrel cracked me up, y'all, trying to... Trying to Run after that popcorn. That cat was after those squirrels, but one of those squirrels in particular say, "Mess, forget that. I'm getting this popcorn. I'm getting what's mine. You can chase these other other squirrels around all you want to, but I'm gonna go around. You know, I'm still gonna get what's mine. Okay. And this is the cat here, dependent. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Life supports you in every way. And it's crazy because this squirrel here, he didn't run. He he it's like he he went around the danger, but he still kept doing what he was doing to survive. Okay. So I just thought I would put those uh animal cards out there. I'm gonna shuffle here and get a life assessment reading for whoever resonates with this. Give me a clear and concise life. Assessment, self-assessment reading for whoever this resonates with, okay? Hope you all are having a good day. I appreciate you. I appreciate the my clients. Thank you. I appreciate the new subscribers. Don't forget you all to hit the like button and please share if you don't mind, okay? Give me a life assessment reading for whoever is watching and whoever will resonate with this. Life assessment reading for the collective. I have here the devil card. It's in reverse because you have some changes coming your way. Almost as if some changes that uh, in the, are in the process. It's, it's like it's going to be a successful change of events for you. The lover's card, self-love, love yourself. You're coming out of a situation. Maybe you're finally healing your heart from a past hurt, from a relationship that you were in previously. You're coming out of it. It's like you're over surmounting the challenges that have happened to you in your life, whether it's about a love relationship, whether it's about a work situation or whatever, you're coming out of that now. You're juggling situations right now. Things may be a little uncomfortable right now, a little toxic turvy, uh, probably uh, just juggling a lot of different things in your mind, trying to figure out what your left from your right, like the squirrel was doing, but still making making things happen for you. Okay, I see the page of swords. You're have you you still have other people watching you. You still have people following your lead. You're still a leader, no matter what you may think. You still have people watching you, maybe online. They're, they're looking at your resumes. Maybe online, you're putting yourself out there for people to, to, to uh, see who you're really about. Maybe you on, somebody's online watching you. Maybe you're trying to online date. Maybe starting some new online, uh, putting new pictures online on a dating site. What is that? Plenty of fish or... or I can't think of those dating sites, but the dating sites, this, uh, <laughs> I keep getting dating sites like that and I don't access them, but whatever they are, dating sites, dating site stuff that you get. Okay. And people are seeing you and, and you want more in your life because you're trying to figure out what is it that I need to do to survive? How can I survive what I'm going through right now? Okay. How can I reinvent myself? Because I know I'm good. I know I'm good. I know I, I have the power to survive, but sometimes Life is full of shit. Sometimes I get stuck. What am I going to do? How can I keep doing this? But you can because you're always reinventing yourself. You're always thinking ahead of yourself. Whether you realize it or not, you're always a step ahead of, of the, the, the best, even the best. You're always a step ahead. Like that squirrel I saw, uh, it was four squirrels. One of them was closer to my door on the point from back, going back and forth from my porch to, the, to where I had the popcorn at because I like to put it under my window so I can watch them. And, um, my friend is calling me, y'all. Every time I do a read, she called me. I don't, know, I don't, I just don't get it. She, it, she at work, but anyway, she like made me lose my train of thought. I'm sorry, but yeah, I try to put the popcorn as close to my window so I can see them. I like to watch them eating the popcorn. And the other three squirrels, they were off, I guess, eat, eating the nuts that, that fell off the tree. I guess they didn't know that that all this nice fresh popcorn was right here because the other squirrel was turning that popcorn, it was turning the popcorn up. So no matter what he was doing, he was still watching that cat, but he was still getting his stomach filled. But the other, but the other uh, squirrels ran away. Okay, 
I have here the Page of Wands, the Moon card, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Overall energy is, is Five of uh, Pentacles. Um, so remember who you are. You can always get around the negative things that are going, look, you can always get around the negative things that are going on. You have little people around you, little things going on around you. Maybe you're not working, having trouble with your family, having trouble with your baby daddy, having trouble with a lover, thinking back in your mind that you want to go back to a lover, being hurt, being abused, whatever you're going through. Remember one thing, all of these small stars, you're smack dab in the middle. You're the biggest, brightest star in the universe. Remember, you are in the middle of, of, of a, everything that's negative and everything that's positive. You are always the brightest star in the mix. You're always the strongest squirrel in the, in the pack. Remember that. I don't know where it came from, but hey, go with the flow, y'all. Okay? So it's like you, you're needing to take yourself, put yourself out there. Um, put yourself out there with the page of, of wands. Maybe put your applications, resumes. If you're looking for a new job. Uh, maybe you're looking to get a car, apply for something, maybe even um, apply for a, uh, a loan, putting yourself out there to date. I actually see, <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing this. I actually see a, a woman riding a man, literally, that's what I'm seeing, and, and talking. It's like, allow yourself to fail. But at the same time, remind yourself of how good you, how good you really are. Don't let the the don't let a blank path deter you and and make you afraid of seeing what's beyond the stars. Don't be afraid to to go to keep to keep on moving. Don't stop. Keep on moving. Don't stop because you never know what's ahead of you on that new on that clear path. You just never know. You're a hard worker, um, and it's like what you put out comes to you. So allow this this regeneration to come to you but you still have some work to do on yourself it may be sooner or it may be later but no matter what don't give up keep doing what you're doing because it's working it's working for you okay it's working for you i don't care if it's a, <clears throat> a love excuse me <clears throat> i don't care if it's a love relationship a relationship to where you're working with yourself a, a self-assessment thing going on or a new opportunity that's coming your way or needs to come your way. You're going to get some kind of offer soon and it's going to benefit you in the long run. All because you've left the past behind. You left the negativity behind. You left the backstabbers behind. You left the, the cats behind because you're strong. You're very, very capable of doing whatever it is you set your, you set your mind to. You're leaving everything negative behind because you're going beyond Above and beyond what you were really meant to do, and that's to be a star. You don't want to be a little star in a big universe. You're the biggest, brightest star in the universe. Remember that. You're smack dab, you're dab in the middle of the chaos, the negativity of everything. Your star outshines everybody's, everybody else's. As a matter of fact, your star helps lead others on their way, okay, to prosperity, to luck, to love, or whatever. They follow your lead, whether you believe it or not. Clarify the devil card here. Pinnacles, working on more income, more money. You're probably having an issue right now with income, period, and it's just not enough for you. Uh, but that's why things are going to change for you. Everything is going to change because the devil record the devil call was in reverse, okay? But you it's a burden for you right now because you have bills. I have bills, you know, but hey, I can't I can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. I just have to be patient and keep on going until I reach my destination. Well, same thing with you. Hermit. You're in your hermit I spend a lot of time by myself. Okay, and that's fine. I'm single, and that's fine too. If you're single, so what? Life goes on. Okay, that doesn't mean you're not going to meet someone soon. Maybe your destiny, destiny right now is to re reassert yourself and figure out what you need to do for yourself and worry about the love relationship later, although it's coming. It may come at the same time when you make a job transition or when you move into a new home. But your first thing, what you need to do right now for whoever this resonates with is, is concentrate on your self-assessment for yourself. And take that leap of faith. Apply for jobs that you don't think you qualify for. Do it anyway. Uh, apply for loans that you don't think you qualify for. Do it anyway. Go out there and hang out and meet somebody. You may not be able to meet the person you want or you would like, but do it anyway just to put yourself out there. Here. You're definitely headed toward bliss. You're de definitely headed toward something new, <clears throat> something different. Clarify this six of wands. You're very, very... 
you should be very, very positive. It's, it's some work that needs to be done here with you. And that's okay because you're looking for new work. You may find a job that will make you into a leader. If not, you're going to go to some kind of training event, some kind of seminar where you'll learn other people. You won't be the only person in the class learning. Okay. Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Some sneakiness. Yeah. Like I said, the Page of Wands here on top of the Page of Wands clarified by the Seven of, uh, of Swords. Yeah, it's some sneaky stuff because... Kind of like the situation with the cat and the squirrels. You're always going to have a, a well, almost curse. You're always going to have a messed up ass cat that's going to try to steal your joy. That's going to try to take from you. That's going to try to steal your energy away because they can't figure out how to handle situations on their own. So they're going to come, going to always try to come and take what belongs to you. But you have to remember, your spirit here is a squirrel. You're always prepared, no matter what people take you through. You you peep people out very well. You peep the BS out very well, and that's something those other cats don't know about. They don't know about the squirrel, the squirrel spirit that's inside of you. You don't let anything creep up on you, and that's a good thing because that squirrel, <laughs> that squirrel is cracking me up, y'all. He kept eating that popcorn. He got that one that one kernel of popcorn. Went back on my porch and was eating it, but at the same time he was watching that that cat. That cat had turned his back and tried to trace the other chase the other squirrels up the tree. Every time that cat turned his back on that squirrel, that squirrel went and got went and got another kernel of corn. That that squirrel got fed. That cat did because he never did catch one of those squirrels. <laughs> <clears throat> Clarify the two of ones. The ones you all are always one step ahead of somebody who think they doing right nine times out of ten they're not and what goes around comes around oh what goes around comes around mm, mm, mm. see what i'm saying what goes around comes around yes 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 your world and your will of fortune they're going to change y'all it's, it's some good things that are coming your way it's like you're ready you have you, everything you want everything you feel inside of you is going to happen for you it's just a matter of time it's just a matter of time. Even if you have to fly with one way to get it, it's going to happen. Because everything that's going on in your universe, you got all these penny any stars around you, but you're the head, the head star in charge. The head star in charge and you shine brighter than anybody else. Yes. Page of Wands. Okay. Overall. So here, the Page of Wands is clarified by the 10. Don't think that because of what you've been through before that you can't offer up your best. You may not feel, you may not think that you have the energy to fight, but keep on fighting. Even if it's just a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. I have the moon card, nine of pentacles. You already know what to do. It's all you like, you, you already know what you want. Uh, you're going to head toward a new situation, a, a new situation in general. could be a new job, a new relationship, a new home, a new way of thinking about yourself and how you feel about yourself. Because you remember, you're working hard right now. You're at a standstill because you're working on, on what it is that you need to do in order to get a new job, a new home, a new relationship out of a, a negative situation. And you're all that in a bag of chips. You're all that in a bag of MF and chips. Yeah, and I don't use... Real, real bad language too often because I want to say here you all that in a bad. Excuse me for saying what I'm about to say, and I don't always talk like this, you all. But you all, it's like you all that in a bag of motherfucking chips. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just needed to say it that way because that's what I was. That's the way I was hearing it in my head. I could have said it a different way for people who don't like bad language, but I just needed to say it that way to let you know that you all that in a bag of mf and chips. Okay. So you're very, very focused. You're going to be having, you're going to have an offer coming in. That's because you're staying um, devoted to what it is you're doing and what you're looking for. Just because, and you're very astute. I keep on hearing that word astute. Very, very smart. Very, very clever. So whatever it is you're working on and you're looking for, you're going to get it. But sometimes you're going to have that damn cat that's going to try to come in the way and mess things up. But that's okay. You can get out of that. That's okay because you got the chariot. You're going to find your way to get out of any situation you in, whether it's negative or whatever. You're going to always find your way to go above and beyond the call of duty. Yes, you do. Look, focusing on your income, but that's okay because it's not going to be that way forever because you have a, an offer coming to you. Somebody's going to call you and offer you something. Or you want to offer somebody something too. It's like no matter what it is you're going through, collective, um, 
you always manage to still help people out, and that's good. You know, it's not always it's not always about you and your wants. It's, it's you may not you may have to go say, well, hmm, I can't do this or I can't do that. I don't have this. Or I don't have that. But you still manage to help people out, no matter how little it is. Look, no matter how little it is, and I just got rid of the king of pentacles. No matter how little it is, whatever you're focused on, you still manage to give just a little, like a squirrel getting a nut. Okay, and this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. Uh, you're just desserts. You're going to get your wish fulfilled. You're going to be very, very happy. But also watch out for, look, the tower card. I was going to say watch out for overindulging on things, food, uh, drugs, liquor, whatever it is, some kind of alcohol. Um, hold your peace. You know, speak your mind, but hold your peace. Okay? Um, don't let don't let people don't let stuff get to you so much that it, that it brings you down because you do have a lot of stuff. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. One more. One more. Okay. Look, whatever it is you're going through, don't let it keep you down. Don't overindulge in stuff that you shouldn't be overindulging in. My thing, you all, I, I overindulge. Even though I drink a lot of coffee, but that's not it. It's ice cream. For whatever reason, in the summer, in the wintertime, I love to eat ice cream. But anyway, not quite winter. But yeah, don't over emot don't emotionally eat, drink, um, do unsavory things that you know aren't good for you because you're in a tower moment right now. It's, it's like be able to hold on to the, whatever it is you're going through, but find productive ways to release it. And don't because it's going to keep you hung up in your head, but you can always get out of the situation. Yeah, look. You can always get out of the situation with having, without having to med, over medicate yourself or overindulge, overindulge in stuff you shouldn't be overindulging because you have the strength and the power uh, to move out of this. Because I know you want to be happy. This is this is the ultimate fulfillment for you right now is happiness and also having a peace of mind, having having a clear state of mind. Because you're definitely looking at a situation when it comes to your money right now. It's definitely a situation dealing with money, income. You got the holidays coming up, uh, but that's okay. Um, you're thinking about a lot of different things. Probably have a one-track mind right now, but remember, you have a lot of different options coming your way. A lot of different things to choose from. A lot of different interviews I've went on. A lot of different interviews you probably went on or will go on. A lot of different choices that you have to make. And someone's going to call you sooner than later. And say, look, I got something for you. I got a job offer for you. I got an apartment for you. I approved you for this personal loan. I approved you for this car, a new used car. And after a while, you're gonna look back on this situation and say, "Who? I'm glad what I, I'm glad I don't look like where I've been." If that's the way that that saying goes, because I know that God bless me. It's time for me to change. It's time for me to make some changes in my life because all I want to be is happy and content and just be able to sleep at night and rest. Okay. So I'm going to uh, get a crystal intent card for you all. And I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Okay, give me a couple of clear intent cards for the collective. What else do they need to know about their self-assessment? What else do they need to know? Five of Sorry from the Squirrel, which is being prepared. And the, the cat. Did I put the cat back? Hold on, let me get the cat. Okay. The cat and the lizard. So we're going to always be prepared like the squirrel. We're going to be independent like the cat. And we're going to be full of regeneration like the lizard. Okay? Give me a crystal intent for the collective. I have the abicular jasper. Abicular jasper. And it says, my life glides forward with ease. I am mindful. I think and act with positive energy. Hmm. Unlimited possibilities. Relax into the flow of a happy life. What goes around comes around. Attract goodness and love. What goes around comes around. Yes, what goes around comes around. I have here the, the Saphonite. No, seraph, Seraphonite. I probably said that wrong, y'all. Seraphonite. My mind and spirit are connected with each other and the divine. Okay? Remember the divine spark within. Uh, that song, One Wing by Garden Sparks. Hmm. Remember the divine spark within. Aspire toward enlightenment. Increase mental clarity, intelligence, 
improve telepathic communication skills. So this card, um, kind of like it heads up with that song I was telling you all about, Fly With One Wing by Garden Sparks. Because the first line of this said, remember the divine spark within. I'm going to play that. I'm going to put that song in the, in the uh, description so you all can look at it. And I have this new deck of cards here. It says the self-compassion deck. The self-compassion deck. I'm going to pull three cards for here from you all for your self-assessment. This is a self-assessment reading for the collective. Give me three cards to share with the group. Oh, I have four. One, two, three, four, five that popped out. So I'm going to read them. This is blank. Write your own. Write your own compassionate thought or how you feel about yourself. Write your own and post it. So it's like write your own uh, positive affirmation, personal affirmation for yourself. Okay. The second one is the sweet spot. The sweet spot. What is an act of self-compassion and self-care that you can take today that is neither self-denial or self-indulgent. Flip the ratio. Flip the ratio. For the rest of your day, notice the number of self-criticisms and the number of compassionate encouragements you give yourself. Set an intention to shift the ratio toward compassion. Shift your ratio toward compassion. I have here self-hug self hug wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a hug for three breaths try saying i love you just as you are notice how those words feel when you hug yourself and tell yourself i love you okay the final one i have here is nourishing joy in every moment there are infinite reasons to be upset and infinite reasons to be happy Make a list of five things you could be happy about right now. Don't stop. Don't stop if more. Hold on. Don't stop if more keep flowing. So make a list of five things you could be happy about right now. Don't stop if more keep flowing. Don't stop if more keep flowing. Okay. I'm tell you something else, you all. I'm glad that I could really be on this platform to talk truth to you all. And I hope that you all can appreciate that. Uh, I don't know how other readers do, but I do try to put a little of my personal life in the readings. Um, I ran into somebody who I used to work with today, um, and I took them back to the building, the building I, used to, I used to work at. So when I dropped them off, I saw some of the old people who, well, I can't call them old, some of the people who were there when I was working there, and they ran to me and Hey, Miss Nikki, how you doing? And, and we miss you and hugs and everything. And, and it really, really felt good that uh, even though I departed that position unwillingly, unwillingly, but it was a good thing that I did. Those people still remember me and still appreciate what I did for them. And I appreciate that you all. That made me feel so very good that, that they still care about me like that. And I still care about them. I, I put my whole effort into and no matter what it is I do for myself and uh, well not for myself I I don't do as much as for myself as I should but I definitely try to put myself out there for others to, to serve others because that's how I am that's how my mother raised me to be so when they came over to me and hugged me and everything and, and just appreciated me and missed me and everything that really really made me feel good it really really did so no matter what it is you all no matter what you do, make sure you do it with pride. Make sure you do it with, with, with gusto. And above all else, make sure you all do it with respect. Because no matter what, people will always remember you. And, and just like Maya Angelou said, people may forget what you said. People may forget what you did. But people will never forget how you make them feel. People will always remember how you make them feel. Okay? So I will talk to you all again later. Bye.